time shot and isn't our world just so freaking adorable i am so in love with the look of the zigzag resource pack it is what is totally going to make it possible for me to just be thrilled and happy in a vanilla world it is what i have always needed and never knew i needed so badly also the sun is getting ready to set so we will probably go and lay down in our little bed in just a moment or i guess i could go ahead i have artemis's aim don't i yeah i do have artemis's aim we might kind of poke around the village a little bit tonight. And I do have a lot of dirt, and we can see if we can catch another new villager. Even though I'm completely out of gold, I really need to get more gold so that we can cure any more zombie villagers. However, I do hope Chanterelle manages to go into the house tonight because I'm really worried about her getting eaten by zombies. Hey, 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 I see villagers out. Hey, hey, that's right. I caught you guys. Go inside. Alright. <laughs> they like locked out the librarian. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll go check on them in just a second. But yeah, we'll give it a couple minutes just to see how everybody wants to wants to behave. Gather up some more wheat and whatnot. In fact, let's go ahead, come over here, grab some wheat from our chest, and then we can head on over and do a little bit of trading with Chanterelle, our wonderful farmer. Alright, where is everybody? Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, Turkey Tail, what are you doing out here? That's better. Okay, so Turkey Tail went inside. And we still have all these delicious cookies from Mara. Alright, things look like they're going okay back here. Did I really plant wheat back there? Why did I put wheat back here? Who knows? Who knows what, what reasoning I may have had. And none of this wheat is quite ready. I think the villagers have been jumping on it. Because, oh my gosh, it's like all smushed down. Well, I'll go ahead and add some more some more wheat. But yes, yeah, so today, you guys, I actually got on because something's been bugging me a lot today. And I was like, you know what? I need to talk it out. Oh, and look at how cute this egg is. This is the cutest egg ever. Good job. Good job, chicken. This is an adorable egg. Oh, I see. I see. I see what's going on here. I get it. I get it. You, you two want something from me? Do you want something from me? Well, I'll share. Ta-da! Baby chick chick. Baby chick chick. Baby chick chick. <gasps> Baby chick chick. Yay! Oh, it's so cute. So cute. But yeah, so today, actually, something's been bothering me a little bit. There's Button. Turkey of the Woods. Turkey of the Woods. Chanterelle, there you are, darling. And I thought I would ask your guys' opinion, because it has to do with YouTube. Aw, oh, man. No more wheat trades. That's alright, we'll bring some other fruits and veggies for her. Uh, but yeah, it has to do with YouTube, and... You know, it's kind of a tricky thing, too, because from my position as both a creator and a consumer of a wonderful UTV goodness that people provide to me, I'm kind of at a loss of, of what to think. Like, I, I feel kind of frozen on, right now, I feel really frozen on how I feel about the YouTube community. And I know it's just a moment, it's just a passing moment because I'm a little bit flustered right now. But I'm really turned off by how horribly rude and entitled people have been. And it's not even from my channel. I was actually on one of the bigger channels um, from a guy that I like watching quite a bit. And I'll give you guys a hint, he loves farming. Also look at our poisonous potato, isn't it the cutest thing ever? He loves farming, I love farming, we both love farming, he's huge, he's one of the big yogs, and I was glancing through one of his videos just to see what people had to say, and the comments were so horribly mean, like really, really mean spirited, and you get used to seeing some mean comments now and then, but these, the entire video, there was only two comments out of about a hundred that I scrolled through that even had something minimalistically polite to say. No, no, no. No, 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 Mr. Zombino. Oh, look at that rotten flesh. So gross. Oh, who's this? <gasps> Do you have a nose? No, the helmet just made it look like he had a nose. Well, down you go, sir. I actually don't mind plucking zombies out of my garden if it means that we might have a chance. Oh, 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 look, look, look. I have a patron at our bakery tree. I see you! Ooh, there's a lot of armor wearing. Very rich zombie population around our area lately, it seems. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of that mister. Hanging out in my little, my little future bakery. 
which I guess I need to light up a little bit more. But yeah, the thing is, almost all of the comments were really, really rude and really sincerely mean-spirited, like just to be mean. And, you know, you get used to that as YouTube creator, and I know that that guy is kind of making some bank. Not as much bank as some people might make, but he's still, he's not doing terrible. And the thing is, I, I but that, that doesn't, that doesn't ex excuse people being really mean to him. And I was trying to wrap my head around it. And mostly people were saying like, oh, you're not funny anymore. Um, why do you, why do you even bother? Why are you not funny? And why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And I thought about it and I'm like, how on earth, if I was him, would I be able to t like stare at this crowd of people being so horribly rude and mean and like one second they're like, oh, we love you, we love you, you're awesome, like sign my thing, be cool. And then the next second, oh, Mr. Cute Creeper, oh, we'll have to get a picture of some cute creepers because there's some cute creepers. Oh, look at that skeleton wearing chain mail, you don't, chain mail even, you don't see that every day. But yeah, I, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, how on earth, if it were me, <gasps> cutesy wootsy creepers, cutesy wootsy creepers. Did I take a picture? I hope I took a picture. There we go. There we go. Got a picture of the cutesy wootsy creepers. I'm probably walking right behind. Yep, yep, yep. Hello. Oh, it's a skeleton field. That's fine. I want that gunpowder, though. But I was trying to figure out, if I was him, how would I turn around and be able to feel like I could be funny if there were that many people being mean to me? And I do get mean comments. I do get some pretty mean-spirited comments. And it normally doesn't bother me because most of the time it's just little kids. Um, and, well, even when it's adults, it still doesn't really bother me per se. Like, you can't, you can't say that it never bothers you because it does bother you when you get mean comments. Um, but I'm not really here to get nice comments. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to try to find a unique way to provide for my family. So as long as those things are still being achieved, and as long as I can hopefully inspire some people to feel a little bit more confident about themselves, or to, like, try learning something new, or to try, like, learning the sciences in a way they might not have before, then I consider it a job well done, and I can ignore, like, that handful of mean-spirited comments. But I just felt so bad for him. Looking at all of that, I was like, how on earth are you even supposed to be able to want to make new videos for these people when they're so mean to you? I think that's what it comes down to, because these people are so, were being so mean and so cruel, and the thing is, they're still so entitled. They want you to, to listen to how cruel and mean they're being to you. And then they want you to turn around and make them videos. And I've seen that in my, my comment section as well, where people will be really mean. I've seen that in like other Time Shotters comment sections. I've seen that pretty much in any comment section that's out there. I've seen people leave really nasty, mean video like comments on videos because it wasn't exactly what they wanted, the way they wanted, the style they wanted. And so they're really bitter about that, about something that's free on the internet for them to sit and watch and they can choose to leave at any time and they didn't pay for this. <laughs> they're not paying for the videos, they're, may they're probably not paying for the internet because most of the time these people are very young. And I just, I don't know how you do it sometimes. And I know I do it because even when I get comments like that, I still have a family I have to take care of with my family and you have to brush it off because there there are lots and lots of nice people too and again it's not for the nice comments it's not for the mean comments but put yourself in the creator's shoes for just a second guys and those of you who are creators let me know how you handle it when you've got these people being so mean and so rude to you and so cruel sometimes and the thing is they're they they still want your content they still want you to make them videos they're being that horribly mean and, and mean-spirited and entitled. And then they want you to not get offended by how, how mean they're being and to make more for them to enjoy. They want you to continue entertaining them. They want you to continue making their afternoons and evenings happy and give them a laugh. But they don't 
want to be nice to you. They don't want to be held responsible for the mean things they say. And Darling has a theory that it's just the way the internet works. And I can see his point, because that's that happens all over the internet. And that happens with so many other things, not just YouTube. People feel so entitled to just what they want. But yeah, I just that's what I'm kind of stuck on today is how on earth do you kind of just embrace that and push past it and still make content when the loudest people who give you feedback on it are very entitled and mean and cruel and act like you're never good enough? And for those people, why on earth do you think that's okay? I don't think anyone here is like that, but maybe what I'm talking about might give some of you pause. When you ask someone, make more videos like these, you're asking them to take their time and you're asking them to rearrange their day, their life, their schedule, so that you yourself can just have that 20 minutes of sitting down and being able to be entertained by them. And so, you know, that's part of the, the spiel, that's part of being a creator, is that that's your goal, is to entertain people. And I, I do love it. I love educating everybody. But I just hope that that'll give somebody a, just a moment to pause and go, oh yeah, this person is doing hours and hours of work for my sake on the hope, the gamble, that I'll watch their video and hopefully enjoy it. And for some of us, like myself and some of the other guys who do it full time, it's the gamble that hopefully what we make will be worth your time enough that you'll watch consistently enough and it'll reach a broad enough audience because you can have a whole little group of 100, 200, 300 loyal fans, but you need more than that if you're going to be able to support a family on YouTube by far. So, you know, you're gambling every time you put up a video and every time you put your well-being into creating videos, but why on earth would anyone want to do it again? Why on earth would anyone want to put that much work in if you, like, you're just going to get hate and rudeness and like cruel people leaving cruel comments? I just don't understand. There, there must be no thinking involved. There must be absolutely like zero real thought involved on the part of the people who are being that mean. That's the only explanation I can really wrap my head around is they just really must not be thinking. Otherwise they would realize, hey, if I'm really cruel to this guy and I say like, you're not funny anymore, so and so's better, I, I don't watch your videos anymore, you've been pathetic since such and such, and these are all real comments that I saw on his channel. And guys, if you, like anyone is leaving comments like that, or if you leave a comment, like, I really worry about what that shows about the kind of person you are. If you're the kind of person to leave a comment that is, is like, I don't like this show, but I hope you make more of these things. Like, that's still, you're still saying you don't, you don't have to like something that someone put their, their work into, but why did you have to say anything in the first place? It's kind of like if you don't have anything nice to say, don't don't say anything at all. <laughs> like that's been a policy in my life for a long time. If I don't particularly go out of my way, hello Chantrell. If I don't particularly really super duper enjoy what someone is trying to do, then I'm I may just move on to something else. But that doesn't mean I'm going to be rude to them. Good grief! All right, let's get a cake. So I don't know. I'm kind of rambling now. But what's your guys' side of it? Because I know so many of you are are avid YouTube watchers. You love watching the content that people put out. You love learning things. So what do you think about, like, let's try this experiment. What do you think, how do you think a creator should react to those kinds of comments? Should they even notice them at all? Would, would you think they should even notice them at all? Like, in your opinion, knowing what you know, how do you think a YouTube creator should react to mean comments like that, mean-spirited comments like that? Should they pay attention at all? Should they be offended? Should it be something that you expect to come with the territory? Should it be something that is just assumed will happen because you, you are working in YouTube? Or is it something that isn't right? And I guess I kind of lean on the side of things that it's something that's not right, but YouTube comments have been known for eons now to be like places of nastiness and cruelty. 
unfortunately, and I think that it was a big step in the right direction when they finally introduced the system that started banning people. And I've had to use that system before too. Not usually because like, like I've been through a lot in my life, so I don't get easily offended. I don't really get easily upset or scared. But if someone's being mean in my channel, I won't tolerate it because there's a lot of people here who, who count on this as being a safe place for them to be able to relax and unwind. And I really love that idea that hopefully our adventures and our silly rambling, our sense of community together can take away a little bit of the stress of life and give someone a safe place to take a breather and hopefully be able to take on whatever else is waiting for them in the world. So if, you know, if someone is, is mean to me or to, especially to another person in my comment section, they're gone because it means that they're, they're dangerous in a way. Um, they might upset, they might upset the community. They might just make someone feel totally unsafe and that's unacceptable to me. But it's just like, why even do it in the first place, I guess? That's what boggles my mind. Why even do it in the first place? And I guess in the end, what I've seen is there's two types of people who leave those kinds of comments. The usual type of person is the very, very young, the extremely young, um, who haven't yet learned. Ooh, what's this? What are you? Is this just how stone looks now? <gasps> That's just how stone looks now, and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Okay. And I need to fill this in, because I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. No, let me out. There. But yeah, uh, usually it's really young people. So that, that always makes me feel kind of conflicted, because it's like, do I say something to them? Or do I just accept that they're young and inexperienced, and they think that YouTube and the internet is an on-demand experience, when really it's much more, much more complicated than that. These are real people, not just like networks of people, usually, that people are, are talking to. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm sorry, guys, but that's just kind of where my thoughts are today, is that I was really sad for him to see that there were so many cruel comments all over his, his latest video, and it really took the wind out of my sails, and I can't even imagine what it must have been like for him, and it really kind of has me thinking today about what people think a YouTuber should respond like and respond to when it comes to those mean comments. And like I said, I would love to know your guys' opinion on it. What is the... Is it, is it really just kind of like ending up with rude customers working in retail? This is so much more personal than working in retail in so many ways. Running this channel and working with people and for people. And so I have a hard time getting my head around the idea that I should just treat it like, oh, you know, you get rude customers in retail. Mm. And of course, I'm not saying that everyone needs to be nice all the time, though that would be wonderful if you could at least not say anything if you're going to be rude, you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to police anyone's like actual behavior or anything like that. I just, just felt so sad for him. And all I could think was these people want their entertainment. And how can they not see, if they act like this, the spirit of wanting to be the entertainer would just dry up? How can they not see that if they continue to behave like this, the person that they claim to want more and more and more entertainment from probably isn't going to want to come back in the first place? Like, you can only take so much of being so personally attacked for no amount of of anything is worth it anymore. And that's just kind of where my thoughts are today. Like, I don't think people realize just how human the people behind YouTube really are. And I don't think that they remember that enough. And if they do, I wish they would speak up a little bit more and say, hey, that's rude. Hey, that's not cool. But it, again, they don't have to. That's just like, just like the real world, you know? People are rude and don't understand and people take others for granted so often in the real, in like real life and it just happens. 
But man, was I ever sad for him. So I really hope that he doesn't really pay attention to it. But I have noticed this particular gentleman, he does seem like he's feeling a little bit down lately. And after looking on his channel and seeing how everybody was behaving, I can't blame him. I would feel down if that's what people were acting like on my channel all the time. So yeah, I won't, I won't really mull over this anymore because I don't think I have anything more productive to say. I wish I could verbalize what I'm trying to express. Because yeah, they say don't, don't take things personally and they say, you know, you can't, can't let things get to you. But I just, I don't know how you're supposed to prevent that kind of, that kind of cruelty from not getting to you, I guess is what I'm saying. So just keep that in mind, you guys. And keep in mind that, yeah, YouTube creators, they're, it's, your entertainment in a way is their job, is our job. But that doesn't mean you're entitled to anything. You're still getting someone's time. You're still getting their, like, heart, heartfelt efforts at life. You're still getting something for free. You know what I mean? So don't be rude. Don't be mean. Mm. I wish I could verbalize this better. You guys probably have some much more interesting things to say in comments. And again, it's probably a moot point because I've always wondered if the day is going to come where I just stop looking at comments because it hurts too much. And I guess that's what's getting me the most because I always told myself, no, that'll never happen. I have to keep that touch with the community. And I know I'll fight for that. But after seeing his comments today, all I can think is like, I can see how it happens because you want to keep producing that content. And then eventually you also have a want and a need to protect yourself. So, hmm, maybe that made absolutely no sense. And I apologize for just the rambly rambliness of it, but maybe it made sense and maybe it meant something. So. I feel a little bit better about talking about it, guys, so thank you. I guess what I really am worried about is that that kind of, of meanness is the territory, is the job, is what I should expect. And if that's the truth, it really dims your excitement over watching your community grow and your channel get bigger because you're getting ready for that kind of, that kind of onslaught. And then people wonder, like, why you don't reply to comments as much and why, like, you aren't as in touch with the community as you used to be. And then how are you supposed to manage hundreds of comments a day when it seems like you can't even make a fragment of the people happy anymore? So I, I could see how that could happen, and I just really hope it never happens with what I do. So I'm going to I'm going to keep that in mind and I really I guess I feel a little bit so thoughtful about this subject because I can see where it would get super overwhelming and I can see how it can happen and I just really hope that never happens for us because uh, to hear so often that I've helped somebody just through being my silly self well I guess like I said that's that's how it happens you get to the point where you still love putting out the content and you still love knowing that there are people who get something so deep from what you do. But yeah, like I said, I could see how it gets to the point where you just can't feel like you can step down into that comment section and interact on that level anymore because it's going to be like walking into a minefield. It's going to be like these people who are so entitled to your time and your energy are just going to like slap you in the face and demand that you keep entertaining them. So just keep that in mind. And I don't know how it'll change. I know they made some amazing changes when they started introducing the ban feature to YouTube. So maybe it just has to be kind of a shift. I know our community is fantastic and amazing and kind, and I'm so grateful for that. And I just wonder what would happen. Like, do you just silence everyone or do you start leading an example by people rising up together and no matter where they see it in life, YouTube, in real life, anywhere, speaking up when somebody is acting entitled and cruel. So I guess that's what it is. My, my sense of, of kindness and justice was really pricked today. And well, I guess the only thing I can do now, the only thing I can do now, piggies, 
is move forward and speak up when I see that kind of stuff happening. So I'll just have to do that and hope that it it's a pebble in the pond, but hope it does something. So all right, guys, enough of this rather rather depressing chat, but I just really need to talk about it. So thank you for being here to listen. And I will see you guys next time. As you saw, we got a lot of work done on our bakery tree. I'm actually really proud of how much work we just got done today. I have never built so much so fast in vanilla, and that sounds absolutely awful because there isn't much done yet. Oh, no, you don't. Why can't you be cute yet? Well, I'm sure Zigzag will get there. But yeah, our bakery tree, bakery, is coming along, and I just have to figure out, uh, like, window panes for it. We might do normal window panes. We might do, ooh, what about a, like, pattern of normal window panes and blue window panes? I think that would be nice over here. And I still need to build a tree in the back. Oh my, what the, on earth is that? Oh, it's a bow. I was like, what on earth is hiding behind that column? Yep, there you go, buddy. Out you go. Oh, and I have I have a visitor. Do you have a big nose? <gasps> He's got a big nose. He's got a big nose. He's got a big nose. Oh, come on, come on, buddy. Follow me, my favorite. I can't even speak. I'm so excited. Follow me, follow me, follow me, buddy. I'm gonna guide him because this is where this is the easiest way to do it. Is to guide him up against the fence. Then he gets distracted with my villagers. I said he gets distracted with my villagers. Yeah, like that. Noops. Hey! You're too smart for your own good, sir. Come this way. Come on! This way. Oh dear, we've got a smart one, you guys. Uh. Eh. Nope, get away from the gate. Okay, well that'll work. And ooh, 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 he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Forget it. He's dead. Okay, wait. Come this way. Oh, thank goodness. You nimnut. Okay, never mind, guys. We didn't have a new villager. He was too smart. The the villager zombie who was too smart. So yeah, never mind that. But yeah, like I said. I guess no matter where it is, uphold justice and be nice to people. And when you see someone being a total jerk, call them out on it. It's not right. It's not right, no matter where it is. YouTube comment in class, like, you'll regret it. You'll regret it more than, than not if you say nothing. And I guess the only answer for creators like him and maybe one day like me where the sea of comments is pretty just harsh and entitled and mean and not pleasant I guess I can totally understand the justification now for why you just stop looking. Because that's really the only thing you can do. And I, I don't blame him anymore. And I would love to know what you guys think. Should a creator who has that much hate in their comment section still try to reply to people? Or should it be okay that they just don't anymore? That they still put out the content but they just don't like comment anymore? Is that, I, is that, like, from your point of view, does that make them, like, weaker? Does that make them lazier? Does that make them less of someone who cares about their community if they don't do that? If they don't comment anymore because, like, the comments are often so repetitive or so vicious? I would really like to know what you guys think about that. It's interesting. But alright, I'm gonna nibble some cookies. Be sad that we lost that zombie villager, but still, like, we didn't have some gold. We were out of gold, so it's not like I would have been able to do much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.